This is not the situation you want to be in. So after leaving John Prince Park, we head over to Caro's best friend's Brooks Place and uh, we find ourselves in a pickle. We're on this long, long road at the entrance of the property and uh, there is tree after tree overhanging on this tight, narrow road and we are scraping and scratching our way in and thankfully someone comes to the rescue. It's Brooks' father and he comes out with a chainsaw and helps us cut away these trees because there was no way we were going to make it the final distance into the home without cutting the trees down. So if you're full-time RV, you might just want to buy a chainsaw and have that baby ready for you. Okay, Tom, would you mind just hold the ladder for me? Give me, give me Sid. I'll take them. <laughs> yeah. For, uh, go. go into the trees to start cutting them. Mm -hmm. and I just say a little prayer. I just start bawling. I mean, gob of tears. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't bawled that way since I was six, I don't think. Wow. Ever since then, I prayed over every meal, everything I put in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was that cool of an experience. Yeah, that powerful. Right. All right, so I'm going to go pretty high up here, so if you could give it a good, it's not cold, okay? Uh, you're probably going to take a little fall out. You got this? And after cutting more trees and more trees, we're finally ready to make our way into the driveway to do some driveway surfing. Sean, I've got to go to work after, but please, mikase sukasa, okay? Hey. Help yourself to anything you can think of. Thank Tools, you. food, drinks. Oh, you guys did not screw around with this thing. No. We're like, you go big or you go home. We need every inch of it. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So you're, you, how long have you been out in it? Or have uh, you just been John Prince? Too late. Well, John Prince, uh, what's the name of the other place? Um, Jonathan Dickinson yeah. in Jupiter. Yeah. And then the first time we went to this place called Santos up in Ocala. Keep coming, Sean. Yeah, it's riding on the top. So we make it through what we think is the worst part. Well, it is the worst part because our rig wasn't getting scratched anymore. We're into wide open space and uh, we've got to try to fit it onto their basketball court. And it sounds a lot easier than it really is because we were trying to avoid tearing up the lawn. And anyone that's pulled a large heavy trailer before knows that Going over some soft grass is going to tear it up pretty good when you've got a 20,000 plus pound trailer hooked up to an 8,000 pound truck. We lucked out in the sense that it was a really dry week and being at this far out west in Florida, we're in the wetlands where the Everglades are and it's usually like a swampland so we were lucky that it was dry and uh, the ruts we created weren't that bad. and weren't going to create any permanent damage to their yard. So even though this was a short drive from John Prince Park, the last quarter of a mile took us over an hour to get in between chainsawing and maneuvering our trailer to get into the right position. The next day was Thanksgiving and we head over to my mom's house for an awesome, awesome feast. We're eating good. 
here on video. No, no video. Yep. Look at all this food. Looks great. Oh boy. All this dessert. I'm so good, I'm not having any. Oh, God. Is that your fifth piece? It is. And Kato's doing her sunrise photo, and we are heading to our 10th garage sale. And our last one before we head out of town. But gotta do what you gotta do you want to live the road warrior life you know what I'm saying ah, I can't wait for this to be over but what a beautiful morning look at that sunrise we're out in uh, West Lake Worth out in the swamps here it's beautiful I think we've had our share of garage sales for the rest of our life I hope I never do another one again but we still have a garage full of stuff, so I know it's only inevitable. To celebrate our last garage sale, we head over to Surf Shack for some delicious grub. It is dark out here. I got my flash on and everything. Pretty cool though. We're at McPoyle's Pub. That's where we're staying. It was pretty cool, this little pub attached to the house, and uh, the family gets together once a week for party night. So that consists of some darts, maybe some cards, just hanging out and talking and enjoying some uh, brewskis with some good friends. Driveway surfing, especially at the right place, can be awesome. And this was our first experience doing it. But we were getting into some warmer weather. Notice the uh, fan in the background. Being plugged into 15 amp when you've got a 50 amp rig and it takes that much to run your AC. Things got really hot really quick when it was 80 something degrees in South Florida and we had zero wind movement. To cool off, we head to the beach to get a little surfing. So the girls decide to go surfing. The wind's been blowing and it picked up even more. And uh, I've so far walked about a mile, maybe more, trying to find them. So after walking a mile, trying to uh, find them, they're back at the car. I don't know how I missed them. They must have taken the long way around on the sidewalk or something, but yeah, looks like I'm getting uh, about two and a half, three mile worth of exercise today. So after a crappy and non-existent surf session, we drank some beer and listened to some mariachi. Doing? I don't know what are we doing. <laughs> We're mountain biking. How are those coochie cutters? The coochie cutters are good. I don't feel the seed on my kooka. Let me see those things. It looks like I have poop in my pants. And my kooka looks like it's huge. Oh, it's not that big? No. You know what how about yours? How about your coochie cutters? How they're working for you? I like them nice and tight. Yeah. <clears throat> nice padding. So what's her name? Red Eye. Red Eye? Yep. Why you call her that? Because he's red. Duh. I see your coochie cutters match your stripes on the bike. They do. <laughs> did you plan that? Yes, I did. How did you know? Ta -da. And even my shirt, look. My bulldog. Hey, I, I did a good job cutting that thing. No, you did a terrible job. It looks you good. destroyed. Destroy my t-shirt. Well, it's supposed to be like that. 
Yeah, no, I wasn't going for a destroy type of look. Well, it looked better than it did. Yes. Yes. I'm Watch out. Guess. Watch out for the gators. We're at Pinehurst. Really cool little trail in the, I don't know, Lake Worth, I guess, area. Yep. Pretty sweet. Lots beautiful. of beautiful trees. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Going down. Might get stuck out here. And they have the gnarliest mosquitoes out here. Do they? Mm-hmm. They're not getting me at all. Well, I'll just wait 10 minutes. No, I don't want to wait. Let's go. Ooh, I was about to say something, but um, that beard really got me. That thing is something. It's been growing. We've been busy. I haven't had time for the personal hygiene part of part of life, but um, we're uh, we're staying at a friend's place, Cardo's best friend's uh, place out in like West Swampland area of Florida. Really cool out here, but um, we're plugged into 15 amp, and so that means we can't run AC. The last couple of days it's gotten really warm. It's like 85, 86 outside. So, things are uh, definitely um, heating up in here. I'm trying to work. I got my workstation, a little mess over here. Lots of uh, fans going and stuff. Got uh, another fan down here. Got some videos in the making. Ua over here is just chilling, trying to anyways. Got Brew over there, just chilling. So we're making things happen, but uh, we're moving to John Prince tomorrow because our tanks are full. You don't want to overfill those things. You don't want them backing up. So we got to move. And um, yeah, we'll be there for about a week before we actually get out of our bubble. So stay tuned. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Road Warrior. Make sure to tune in to this special episode of our friends whose property we were staying on living in a teepee and they are the only couple in south florida living in a teepee we're going to show you how and why they're doing this teepee living lifestyle What? No, I'm just told you. What? No, I just told you.